Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1171. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, check this out. We have a category here, and these are text. If we look up in the number format, we can see it's text. 0, 0, 5, 0, 0, 0, 5, 0, and 0, 5, 0, 0, and a bunch of others. And we just want to add, based on the category, some ifs, or some ifs should do it perfectly. Highlight that range, F4 to lock it, comma, to get to the next argument. Here's the whole range of criteria, F4 to lock it, comma, and no problem. The criteria, that's text, that's text. It should work fine. Control, Enter. Double click and send it down. But what is going on? 172 is not the answer. Look, that's 0 and 500. If I look through here, hey, wait a second, there's a 0, 0, but that's a 500. That's a 0, 500, 0, 0, 500, and 0, 500. If I highlight those using the Control key and look down in the status bar, the sum is 172. So what? It, oh, and here too. We'll check that out. Sum ifs internally looks like it's hacking off those lead zeros. Now, I tried all sorts of crazy stuff to try and get sum ifs to work. Oh, but no problem. We have some product. This is what we had to use for multiple criteria before some ifs. Hey, some product and the array operation is going to have no problem matching text 0, 0500. 0, 0. That's four characters with that 0, 0500 0, 0, and this one. So I'm going to in the array one, double negative, open parentheses, highlight the category. F4, that's the whole range. And I'm going to say, are any of you in there equal to relative cell reference, close parentheses. Now, actually, if I highlight this in F9, falses and trues, hey, wait a second, some product can't understand that, control Z. But some product will have no problem using the double negative to convert them to zeros and ones. F9, some product will read that fine. Now, we're going to multiply that array of zeros and ones times the whole array of numbers. And only when you get 1 times the particular number will it show up. Control Z, come to the end, comma to get to array 2. And it's close parentheses, Control Enter, double click and send it down. And that one works fine. Well, I don't think it does work fine. I better come to the last one and hit F2. I forgot to lock. So I've got to come up to the top, F2. Click inside here, click on array 2. F4 key to lock it, Control Enter, double click and send it down. And now this 0, 5, 0, if I check the last one, we can see we got all the ranges right. And 0, 50 plus 0, 50 is 80. All right, we'll see you next trick.